Hi and welcome to another video update from the Fire Brigade Union here in the Union's head office in Kingston, London. We're joined by General Secretary Matt Rack to discuss the vital issue of climate change. Now, Matt, there's been a lot of political discussion and highlighting um, around climate change recently. Tell us why it's such an important issue for firefighters in the Fire and Rescue Service. Well, Tom, I think uh, climate change is it's a bread and butter trade union issue for the Fire Brigade Union. Um, and it's an international issue that we're discussing with colleagues around the world. So it's widely acknowledged. Scientific evidence suggests that uh, human uh, activity has created changes to the climate, including global warming. And one of the impacts of that is on the weather. So uh, extreme weather events, that's uh, storms, wildfires, floods. And if you think about the activity, it's a noticeable difference in, in the scale of those sort of activities in the UK over the past 15 years or so. Uh, and we are having uh, large scale wildfires, floods on a much bigger scale and more regular than we had in the past, and uh, storm and other extreme weather events. Then you look globally, and we discuss this with the firefighters organisations, Australia and North America, for example, and again, the same issues are happening uh, there. And if you take North America, some horrific wildfires. Uh, the worst example I mentioned recently in 2013 uh, in Arizona, 19 firefighters killed. That's trade union members killed. So our people here and across the world are on the front line of dealing with climate change so for us it's about our jobs and i think we're saying to governments if you want to tackle these things properly then actually you need a proper fire and rescue service you need investment you need jobs you need fully trained firefighters so that's why it's so important for us but also it's a, a global issue that actually does threaten uh, humanity ultimately uh, so we need to be part of one tackling the effects of it now, but also working with other people to try and tackle climate change itself. Now, Mark, you've been very active, and the union's been very active in raising this issue, including at this year's Labour Party conference, where the union's involved in what's called the Socialist Green Deal. Tell us what that is, and what was the outcome of this discussion? Yeah, I think so. We're affiliated to the Labour Party. We attend the conference. We submitted a, a motion on climate change. Uh, again, making the point that uh, it's, workers have to be central to any change. There needs to be public investment. There needs to be public accountability. So raising issues around public ownership, about the uh, the need to involve workers in any transition. So industrial change and so on. Workers, we don't want to see jobs lost. We want to see new jobs created. High skill. You know, the way we're going to resolve this is through new industries, new highly skilled jobs and engineering solutions and so on that's what's the sort of thing that is necessary and part of that for us is about jobs within the fire rescue service uh, so we worked with local labor parties and we presented the major motion on climate change to the labor party conference and that was overwhelmingly uh, supported so that sets out a program which we now push on a, a potential government to to start to implement well i was going to ask that i mean this this motion was passed at the conference it's been raised by the union across a whole number of different areas i mean what happens now how does this issue get progressed by the fbu in the future well, I think the, I think we would want to, firstly to encourage our members at local level to discuss it. You know, it's it's not you know it's it's not necessarily the first issue everyone will think about, but it, it does, as I say, affect us directly in our industry. Uh, so we need to discuss that, and then people need to engage with local communities. You know, we have communities that are regularly now affected by flooding, uh, and that is probably caused by climate change. Uh, so we need to engage with those about one is how do we protect those communities but also how do we work together to tackle climate change and the, the, that resolution that motion sets out a plan of the sort of things that we could do to to address it mark thanks very much indeed well for more information on this issue and indeed all the work that the fire brigade union undertakes on behalf of its members you can go to our website and that's www.fbu.org.uk or you can follow us on twitter and that's simply at fbu national till next time thanks for joining us and mark thanks very much thanks tom